Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check. It's our weekly review of the top 10 highest selling vintage t shirts on eBay over the last seven days. So let's take a look. So this week we have a list of super awesome t-shirts, a lot of ones that I think are super dope, super cool. Uh, even on the top of the list at number one we have a t-shirt that we've seen before, uh, but we had a little bit of a mystery about and I think we may have so sorted out some of that mystery. And uh, so you're going to want to stay tuned for number one, super dope t-shirt. A lot of great band tees on this list today, in fact pretty much dominated by music tees. Uh, I don't think there's a single movie promo tee. <laughs> this time around uh, but still some really high sales and some really cool t-shirts so let's take a look at number 10 all right coming in at number 10 we have this vintage warren g 1995 uh, g funk era world tour 1995 super sick that's got a few flaws you can see here um, but the fade is super cool on it uh, looks super sick um, it's got a few little defects here and there on a, a pretty generic tag I'm not familiar with. I don't see an RN, so I'm not sure who produced it. Uh, not uncommon, especially if this is like a European, like, let's see, did they say where it was produced? If this was like a European tag, could be a European tag. Um, obviously you can see here, this was a world tour. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, places that they hit up. So uh, likely this came from overseas. Uh, this is my guess, in fact, I, it shipped from Utah, but I, I, it's probably a, Probably a like a European uh, European uh, tour tee. So super cool. Uh, love this tee. Uh, this one sold for eight hundred dollars plus shipping. Uh, super dope tee. Next up, we have this rare vintage Grateful Dead uh, nineteen eighty two tie dye tee. This thing that that is a dope pattern. Got the you know the, the skeleton hands, a uh, little infinity on the chain there. I mean, this thing's super sweet. It's worn to perfection. Uh, it's got the single stitch. Uh, looks like it's a, an older tag. It's a little bit smaller there, but it's been ripped out. Uh, says it's been in his possession since 1989. Uh, it's a little bit small. Um, yeah, it's real small actually. Um, it says 21 inches long. That doesn't seem like they measured it correctly. That would be incredibly short, but uh, maybe so. It's still a dope tee. The pattern is great. Um, and, uh, and I've never seen this particular pattern either, so that's probably what contributed to the price. It did not sell for $1,000. It sold for $800 plus $50 in the shipping. Uh, this was uh, probably an auction that had a, um, uh, not a bite now, but like a best offer. So someone probably made him an offer before uh, the, bid, uh, the, the auction was over, and he accepted it. For $800 plus shipping. All right, then at number eight, we have this rare 1990 Gigi Allen uh, tour team. Uh, Gigi Allen was uh, notable uh, in the punk world. This is the Suicide Tour 1990. Yeah, this is probably super rare. I wasn't a huge fan of Gigi Allen when I was a punk kid, but uh, a lot of people were. No back kit. Obviously, the sleeves have been cut off, and this is, you know, this is just a super rare tee. Um, Maybe someone's gonna wear it. Probably someone's gonna wear it, but um, oh look at that! Not for sale to persons under 18 years of age. That's funny. Um, but yeah, super controversial character. But uh, this T-shirt uh, did sell for $800 plus shipping. So next up, we have a rare 1998 Rizza Bobby Digital T-shirt, size XL. Uh, this thing looks super fresh, and they say it is dead stock. Says new, I think they sold it new without tags. Yeah, new without tags. Um, this would be a candidate that I'd be concerned with uh, for dry rot. You can almost see like it's a little bit of a shine to the black uh, fabric. That's typically not a good sign. But you know, I'm sure that uh, the whoever bought it was gonna take care of uh, checking it out. The back hit super cool too. Uh, this t-shirt's great. This, there's a couple other of these tees that are listed uh, from this era. Um, I think there's an XXL um, listed for actually less than what this one sold for, I believe. Uh, this one sold for $800. That seems to be like the uh, favorite uh, price for uh, t-shirts these days. Uh, so it, I guess in some ways technically ties, but you know it all depends on what they paid for shipping. All right, next up we have this vintage LL Cool J wrap tee. Uh, probably could have had a better... Uh, uh, title here but it didn't seem to affect uh, the price as it still did sell just fine um, 
This one was also probably a best offer. I did not actually end up selling for $799.95. Uh, it was probably a best offer was accepted, it appears, uh, for $900 plus shipping. Now, this t-shirt's super dope. Love the fade. Uh, probably like a uh, parking lot boot uh, with the HBT made in Haiti. Uh, uh, who knows? I, I, I'm not an expert on that, on parking lot boots, but super cool tee. Uh, definitely deserves to be on this list at $900 plus shipping. All right, then we have the Mother Love Bone Vintage Single Stitch OGT. This is the front hit. It's got that sort of uh, uh, Jordan, the Jordan uh, parody logo. Here we have the hit on the back. It says Air, Love Bone. Super cool tee, dope tee. I just wish, I'm, and it's sort of frustrating that I don't see enough of uh, these tees like with full... Uh, full profile shots. There's like elements and angles. Like, give me the whole T. Um, I would always probably, I would be, I would personally probably be a little bit uh, off put if I didn't see a like a whole profile T uh, picture of the T. Uh, but this one still did really well. Sold for $980 plus shipping. Uh, super T, uh, super cool T, and a rare T for sure. Uh, great fading, all that stuff. So, uh, great T shirt. All right, next up, I right, gotta watch out for demonetization, so we're not gonna do a whole lot of close-ups of this T-shirt, but we have this rare vintage hot uh, red chili peppers white Madonna T-shirt. Uh, you can do the math yourself. Uh, it does look legit. Now, this one was a big hitter uh, this week for sure. And this one sold for one thousand uh, and forty-seven dollars, and you know, get out your change purse and throw in eleven cents. <laughs> because this t-shirt did real well. It had free shipping. Uh, a rare shirt t-shirt for sure. Uh, definitely one you don't see all that often. Uh, big sale. Now at number three, we have this vintage Bjork uh, post tour tee. This thing is super cool. Uh, love Bjork. At least love her, you know, sort of aesthetic style. Uh, such an interesting t-shirt. Uh, love the way that they set it up on the back. The front hit's super cool. The back hit is super cool. In white, looks like for the most part, outside of it, maybe a couple flaws here and there. Yeah, there's a little bit of marking here and there. Some of that you might be able to get out. It's on a winterland, uh, so that's sick. Made in USA. Uh, looks like there might is that like paint maybe that's on there. Um, yeah, I guess there's actually quite a few more flaws than I first saw. But you know, it's a super rare, super dope Bjork T, a tour tea. This one sold for a whopping fifteen hundred and one dollars plus shipping. Uh, this is a great tea and great sale. All right, at number two, we have this vintage Wu-Tang Clan tea. We always seem to have Wu-Tang on this list. They are the ultimate repeaters. Uh, but this tea looks super fly. Uh, glaciers of ice. I mean, look, the, the graphic looks incredible. Well preserved. The tea looks good. Uh, the the, the tea. Uh, the front, this is the front hit. Actually, this is the back hit, just so you guys know. This is the back hit, super dope. Front hit. Uh, super cool as well. Uh, such a, I mean, incredible t-shirt. Like, uh, super faded uh, tag. So, uh, who knows? I'm not sure what uh, who would have made this. Uh, but this is, looks like a great tee. Um, I would have expected this to be a little bit, uh, this seems to be a little bit out of, of the range. Uh, that I would expect on this tee, but again, it's in such great condition that which is which is what probably really set it apart. Uh, this T-shirt sold for eighteen hundred dollars plus shipping. Uh, super banger here for sure. Now, before we get to number one, let us know how you're enjoying these videos and uh, let us know which of these T-shirts is your favorite. And remember, we have another heat check on Tuesdays, all about vintage Levi's. If you want to check that out. We'll see you on Tuesday. Now, coming in at number one is the Alice in Chains Facelift Tour Tee. We have seen this t-shirt on the list before. In fact, a couple weeks ago, we had this t-shirt uh, that I think went for about $1,000 last time that we had it on the list. Uh, and this one went for quite a bit more than that. Um, and at first, I thought maybe this was the same t-shirt that someone bought and then just resold. Uh, but it does not appear so. Uh, this t-shirt, actually, this listing was also uh, cross-posted onto Grailed. And in fact, the t-shirt that sold last week or a couple weeks ago for $1,000 referenced the listing, this same exact t-shirt uh, listing on Grailed. Uh, so they're not the same t-shirts. This t-shirt ended up selling for $2,000. So double what was previously the previous sale of $1,000. Uh, this was a uh, best offer that was accepted versus uh, the last t-shirt was a uh, an auction that was run. 
Uh, the t-shirt looks great. Uh, we did have some question last week on the last t-shirt about the lead tag. I did confirm that this lead tag is appropriate for the era. Uh, so no serious questions there. The tee looks fantastic. Lots of great uh, color. Not a ton of cracking, if any. That's really noticeable. A fantastic version of this t-shirt. Way to go for whoever sold it. A good payday at $2,000 plus shipping for number one on the list. So that was the top 10. Hope you enjoyed it. Band tees obviously rule the world <laughs> for the most part, uh, but some really great ones, obviously. And until next week, we'll see you guys later. Peace.